Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And in this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about the different types of pocket coil springs. So let's go. This is a little bit more advanced episode, at least in Mattressology. I would say probably Mattressology 201 because not all pocket coils are created equal. I know you see pocket coils in a lot of mattresses and you think all pocket coils are the same. There is a difference. And the reason why we know, because we learned the hard way. Typical pocket coil mattress is gonna have the coils going in a line. This is gonna be very standard on your more typical pocket coil mattress. Not that it's bad, it is great for motion separation. You know, if, if two people are in the bed, one person's moving is great. Two issues that we have seen with this type of coil system is that there's one line and they're all, you know, bonded together. So there is a little bit of lean. Some of these mattresses you might feel when you're on it or you're laying down, you could tend to have a little bit of lean a little bit. So, which will obviously affect the support of the mattress. Coil system that we just changed to, it's called the Quad Coil from Texas Pocket Springs. If you see close up, each coil is in a little four pack, the, the way they do this. And I actually have one, just separated one that we took apart. It's in a four pack. What that does is it keeps the stability, it, it keeps the support of the mattress where you don't feel like you're gonna lean when you're laying on the mattress. We've had feedback from customers trying it ourselves, like there is just, there's just more of a stability with this type of coil system. And then also another thing is with this type of coil, if you get closer right here, you see that these little gaps right here, what happens is you need to put another layer on the top of it, which we call it scrim. We, it's not on here yet, but a little thin layer of non-woven material usually goes on top of it. That prevents the material from sinking through. But what that does is it prevents the mattress movement. It takes away some of that motion separation and it changes the feel of the, of the mattress, of the, the spring system. With the Texas Pockets coil, because the way that these are together, you do not need to put that scrim on there. So you do get better, just better motion with the, with the mattress. It just, it just flows better. Those are the two big types. The stability is, is gonna be better and also, you, you don't have to put any of that scrim on the top. So we just changed this earlier this year since we've been using it. It has been a, overall better, you know, just the, the feedback's better. Also with this type of coil system too, just another thing that we noticed, you can get an accordion effect where it just flexes quite a bit, where the, the size can vary, which it can vary anywhere from three inches to six inches sometimes, you know, which would change the, the size of the bed. Sometimes you'll see these these mattresses with like two, 3,000 coil counts is gonna be with these micro coils. These are gonna be smaller coils that they'll usually put on top of the regular coil system. And it just takes the place of foam. I actually do like micro, micro coils to, to just give it a unique feel. But when you see these super high coil counts, it doesn't mean it's better. It just means that they have micro coils. So just like a mini little pocket coil. So that is micro coil with on top of or with this type of coil, you don't get that variance. A 60 inch latex or um, queen size mattress is gonna be 60, maybe give or take an inch. But with this one, I've seen it go anywhere from 56 inches to 62 inches, or even the length anywhere from 78 inches to 82 or 83 inches. So there's just, there's less variable when it comes with this type of coil system. So that is Pocket Coils 201. There is differences, not all pocket coils are created equal. Hope this helps you guys when you're on your mattress shopping journey. Just something to look at, something to maybe ask the salesperson when you're talking to see if he even knows. But yeah, if you have any questions, give us a call, put in the comments, and download a guide if you're on your mattress shopping journey. And yeah, subscribe to our channel. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, sleep well.